This review has been made possible by Chevrolet of Naperville. As you know, Chevy has tons of brand new cars and trucks available for purchase, but did you know that they also have a remarkable selection of used cars? Head on over to ChevroletofNaperville.com and look through hundreds of used cars for sale right now. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2019 Chevy Equinox LT. Up front is a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four. Down below is a six speed automatic transmission. If you'd like to read more of my thoughts, head on over to carmarshall.com slash overdrive. Or we'll be writing a complete article about the Equinox. As well as if you guys would like to see my videos before they're made public here on YouTube, head on over to my Patreon, where for only $2 a month, you can see everything before anyone else can. But let's get back to that 1.5 liter inline four. Well, it is turbocharged, like I said, and actually, there's no naturally aspirated options for the Equinox. It's either a 1.5 liter turbo, a two liter turbo, or a 1.6 liter diesel. Now the Equinox actually gets the same engine options that you'll find in the Malibu. If you guys haven't seen it, I did a 2018 Chevy Malibu review. And I have no complaints. Honestly, the car gets great gas mileage when it's out of boost. And when you do need to pass someone, the turbo spools up and you can pass them without much trouble. I really genuinely thought that Chevy was just going to put their 3.6 liter V6 into the Equinox and call it a day. But that's actually not an option. The largest engine option is a two liter, which actually total side note, doesn't really have much to do with the Equinox. I was driving home the other day from school in my 2007 Pontiac G6. And I was thinking, you know, if this motor ever goes, I might throw a GM 1.5 liter into it or something. That'd be kind of neat, but all right, back to the Equinox. The interesting thing about that 1.5 liter is that it really doesn't feel like a turbo engine or at least a turbo engine that I'm used to. You don't feel this kick of boost. It feels very linear. And so I'll put down the window here. We'll do a, a, a test, but okay, also, Side note, Chevy, it's very hard. You, you either go all the way down or all the way up. It's very hard to do small adjustments with your windows. Fix that. But 1.5 liter turbo, six speed automatic. Yeah, see, it gets up and goes for sure. It definitely, for a 1.5 liter, I can't complain but it doesn't feel like a turbo motor. And so I actually think that's good because people who buy Equinoxes, odds are they're not about that turbo life. They, they don't want a big blow off valve. They don't even probably know what a blow off valve is. And so it's not gonna, it's not jarring. It's not gonna scare anyone away. They're not gonna feel the boost kick in and go, what was that? Whoa, whoa, did I break something? It, it feels very linear. It feels like a bigger four cylinder and props to Chevy for doing that. Like I said, paired to it is a six speed automatic transmission. Nothing too crazy here. I've dealt with GM's six speed before. They're perfectly fine. They shift well, they shift like they're supposed to. And that's all I can really ask from it. And last but not least, the Equinox is front wheel drive, although an all wheel drive option is offered. So let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have a couple different gauges on my far left is my tachometer. Then on the far right is my speedometer. And in the middle, I get two gauges for fuel and coolant temperature. And then my center screen, which is gonna tell me a bunch of different stuff. Right now, it's miles per hour in digits, but we can switch that to a timer, my radio station, my navigation, my phone, or settings, which I can just switch units, speed warning, software information, all that stuff. On the steering wheel, I then get controls for that center screen on the right, and then on the left are my cruise control options. Down to the left here, we just have light switches, and then my windows, which is one touch down, one touch back up for the driver only. Everyone else can get bent. Then I actually have like a little cubby here in the in the door, which is kind of nice. In the center, we get the infotainment screen. Now this is the LT, which is not the top trim model, but what it does have is it has Apple CarPlay. So we'll hit home here, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. And if you are willing to pay for it, you can actually enable a Wi-Fi hotspot in your vehicle, which is super nice. If you have kids or if you drive around people a lot, you can actually, through Chevy, you can get a plan for a set amount of data a month for your Chevy. That is actually really, really cool. 
and they offer it on all of their models. You know, some upscale luxury brands, they offer it on their higher end models, but Chevy actually offers it on nearly all of their models, which is really nice if that is something that you're into. Down below the center screen, we do get climate control, a bunch of different options here. I really like the knobs for the actual temperature because they say the digit inside the knob which I think is really cool. And I don't know, it's, it's not space agey, but it's it's a lot more modern, it's cool. It, it actually makes me feel like I'm doing something. And we do have heated seats in the LT. Down below the climate controls, you get your USB in, a 12 volt charger, and then we work our way down to the shifter. The shifter feels nice and solid. It really has a just, solid that's all i can really say is it's just solid when it goes into gear it feels good it feels nice and that's what you want out of a shifter it's really satisfying i guess is what i want to say you can plus minus on top of the shifter if that is something that you would like to do then you have your electronic parking brake now the seats they almost look like denim they look like almost like a really dark denim but they're not actually denim. They're all right. They're not the most comfortable things in the world. Now, if you do go up to the higher trim level, say the Premier, you're gonna have a lot nicer seats than here in the LT. But I guess I wouldn't call them impressive. They're, they're seats, they do the job. Now, speaking of seats, this is a four door, actually technically five door. There's a back row of seats. So let's, let's do a back seat review. All right, so we are in the back of the 2019 Chevy Equinox, and I really, really am impressed with the back seats. The reason for that is one, the seat is in my normal driving position and not only do I have room to move my legs, I could almost high kick. There's so much room between my kneecap and the seat, there's about that much room, which cannot be said about a lot of other vehicles, and I really like that. The seats are about the same as up there. Like I said, they're nothing to write home about, but they do the job. The other thing that I didn't take into account while driving up there, I seriously just thought that this was just a sunroof. This is not just a sunroof. This is a... I think these are actually called moon roofs when it's like the whole span of the car instead of just like one little section. I really like this. This is really, really cool. I think if I were a kid and I was in the back of this, I would not stop staring out the window. Honestly, right now, it's a very windy day and the clouds are moving so fast that I might just like, I might just not return this Equinox for a little bit and just stare because it's nice and warm in here. It's freezing outside. This is definitely a cool feature. I like this a lot. Now, paired with the back seat review, we are going to do a cargo space review. I normally don't do this, Actually, I don't think I've ever done this, but let's do a cargo space review. Hello, thanks for joining me on this extra special part of the review. So I'm in the back of the Equinox. As you can see, the seats are folded down. Plenty of space back here. I do have two little switches back behind my shoulder that I'm trying to play with right now. They unlock the seats and then you pull on the top of them and the seats fold down. Really, really nice. You get a bunch of space back here uh, if you do have to haul stuff. I also have a 12 volt outlet back here. People get mad at me, they, I call them cigarette lighters. That's just because that's always what I've been told that they were called ever since I was little. So I'm trying to break that pattern. They're 12 volt chargers, but they're cigarette lighters. Power tailgate, two hits on the button. What's up? I really like the red. I think GM has some of the best paint colors, honestly. But other than that, the Equinox doesn't look bad. I think it's a good looking car. It, it's not hideous. If I saw one in traffic, I wouldn't go Egh. So overall, I have to say that the Equinox doesn't really wow me in any sort of way, but it definitely keeps up with the ever so popular SUV market that just keeps growing and growing and growing here in 2019. I would say it definitely keeps up with key competitors and I really like the small engine options. I really like that it's a 1.5 liter turbo or a two liter turbo, or that you could even get a diesel option. That's huge. I wish that I could review a diesel Equinox, but they are very hard to come by. But I just like that Chevy's offering that. If you do want a diesel smaller SUV, you can get a diesel Equinox. Take that CRV. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something about the 2019 Chevy Equinox. I wanna give a huge shout out to Chevrolet of Naperville. You guys know that they've been helping me out with these reviews. They have an awesome event going on right now. Test drive any car on their lot and they will donate $20 to Turning Point 
Turning Point is an autism foundation here in Naperville. That's goal is to help out kids with autism as well as their families. It helps kids get the correct education that they need, the help that they need, and to take the stress off of the parents and just make life easier for them. And so it's a great foundation, it's a great cause, and all you guys have to do is go to Chevy of Naperville, say I'm here for the test drive event, and test drive any vehicle. You could even test drive this Equinox. I'd highly recommend it. This is definitely something that you should check out in person, because while it's not quite my cup of tea, it might be yours. So. Thank you again to Chevy and Naperville, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys. I, I, I,